Hey guys, so last time you saw it, uh, this top frame was actually flipped over on that table. So now I've flipped it back and I've bolted to this uh, to the bottom frame here. Um, I had to make these custom bolts just because the wrench wouldn't fit in there. And there's a thread, there's a nut welded on the inside of this HSS. Down here, we've got hockey pucks, and this uh, gives it some pretty good stability. I'm moving that pretty far, hard. Uh, a lot of grip in there, and then the wheels. Um, they just spin freely, so you just uh, lift it up a little, spin this puck in, there's a threaded rod, and then it can be on the wheels and you can move this cart around. Here, uh, the panel's going to go here. Um, we're going to run some uh, cable track underneath. But everything is coming together pretty good so far. Um, for the gantry, I've come in, uh, I just milled these at home. Uh, it's just white oak, pretty hard. It's rock solid, like can't move this. I still have got have one more cross beam going. Um, this uh, x-axis ball screws in, just screws right here. It's going to be a motor mount for the uh, probably you're going to use a NEMA 23 motor with a coupling. Just going to fit right into here. Um, I haven't had the top. I haven't made the top yet, but it's going to bolt right directly onto here. And over here, we've got just a few more pieces for this x-axis to mount in. It's just gonna fit in here, in those holes. And this, all this is is uh, uh, aluminum angle, one by one by one eighth uh, thick. And there's a V on there. And that V is where these uh, V-groove bearings, it's, it's a 90 degree in there. And that's gonna slide on the top and bottom rail. And that'll be my axis, uh, my linear transition for the x-axis. So that actually saved me a few hundred bucks because I didn't have to get uh, Bosch Rexroth linear rails and bearings. So this is just a cheaper option. I might be able to, well I probably will convert uh, in the future. But this is where we're at right now. Everything's nice and tight and uh, pretty rigid. So next update, hopefully we'll get some motors ordered in. I'm um, probably going to start assembling the, uh, the actual cart up for the Z-axis. Um, then yeah, panel. Where's the motor mounts, Connor? Motor mounts are over here. Um, this is for the x-axis, so I have a spacer block here. It's just going to get bolted in, like such. And then I've already pre-measured the distance for a NEMA shaft, and that's why it sticks out a little here. And the, the motor is going to come right into here. Um, also, we've got, this is the Z-axis carrier, another motor mount, it actually it's datoed, it's going to fit up here, the motor's going to slide right in there, and this is going to be mounted to these aluminum rails, and this will slide like this. So I'll probably start assembling this, um, and I'm waiting for the motors until I can put the top piece on. So, we'll see how, see where we get from there. Do you want to show how you're going to connect the Z-axis on the linear rails? Oh yeah. So, this is my Traveler. I've made these sort of uh, custom railroads, I don't know what I want to call them. But there, you can see there's the, uh, there's the V. These are just shoulder bolts. And they, there's going to be two on either side. They just mount right in that on that rail, and that's just nice and smooth, flatter than a plate of piss. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, and then these are actually going to mount to this traveler like such. So there's going to be one up here, one down here. That's going to be like this. And I'll travel back and forth. So. I can probably go ahead and start assembling this right now. I've got all the nuts and bolts for it. And uh, maybe we'll just do a little test to see how good, good it works.